According to She-Hulk herself, Tatiana Maslany, there will be no season 2 of Marvel's She-Hulk. And she's singing a very different tune now than she was one year ago. This comes to us from the ever-reliable John F. Trent over at That Park Place. His write-up reads, During an appearance on a Twitch game show called Codenames Live, hosted on the Nerd Incorrect channel, Maslany first detailed how she no longer has any work. When asked where people can find her, she said, I've got no job. When one of the other panelists, Christian Brune, told her, Get a job, she responded, I've been fishing here, if anybody has any leads. This is the reality of being an actor. Most of the time you are unemployed, ever looking for that next acting opportunity, which may be months or even years in the future. For the unlucky ones, it never comes, and there will be many unlucky ones this year, as both film and television productions are sliced down considerably from their earlier levels. I'm not saying she will never work again or anything, but I am saying she's probably going through a rough patch right now, and that may be why she's even appearing on this Twitch game show in the first place. I didn't notice any misandry or hatred for the audience in her comments this time though, which is a significant changing of tune since when the series was released little over a year ago. Let's revisit her past comments and our video from October 17th of 2022. Variety asked the loaded question, were you expecting to face the trolls when you signed on for the show? To which Tatiana Maslany answered, Reading the script, it was so true. There's so much resistance to a woman just existing in that space of superheroes. Okay, I have to cut in already. There is no resistance to female superheroes, and there never has been. Case in point, She-Hulk is a popular character. What there is resistance to is female superheroes, for purely ideopolitical purposes, being portrayed as innately superior to male superheroes. While the male superheroes, in their presence, instantly become inept, bumbling fools, whose only purpose is to demonstrate how inferior they are so the female superhero can shine. That is a far cry away from resistance to a woman just existing in that space. Here it should be noted that the straw man accusation that a woman just existing causes resistance is one of the favorite cards misandrists like Tatiana Maslany like to pull from their purse. Having pulled that card, Maslany continues, I sort of anticipated it. It's why I also feel it's important. There's such an entitlement to space held by certain people, and to even exist as She-Hulk is like a fuck you, and I love that. Well, I hope she enjoyed that thrill while it lasted, because it may be over now. Let's return to today, and that park place right up. She was then asked, should we hope for a season 2 of She-Hulk Attorney at Law? Maslany responded, I don't think so. I think we blew our budget and Disney was like, no thanks. Maslany's comments are not unheard of. She was previously asked by Extra TV what the chances were for a second season in October. She answered, I mean, I don't think so, yet. Kevin in the scene seems to be very dismissive of the idea, so if we're basing this off the real Kevin, then it doesn't seem likely. But he was also, I think, just trying to get rid of Jen at that point. Because she was asking too many questions. I don't know. If I could be coy and have some little secret, I would do that. But I really don't know. I don't know anything. This is also true. Actors are often the last to know if and when they'll next appear in something they're contractually locked in for. Their agents have the better overview of that. But if there is nothing happening, as in nothing at all, the actor in question will be able to deduce that fairly easily. So I do believe that like so many other Marvel Disney shows that left the door wide open for a season 2, She-Hulk will not be joining Loki and the animated What If in actually getting one. And good riddance to that. Remember our coverage of Film Threat Scoop from earlier in the week? About how experienced screenwriters that were too white and too straight tended to be sidelined, 
even if they were gay. And yeah, that's a thing, by the way, which our own Tom Connors has reported in the past. Gay writers who look like straight white men are also sidelined, because they're just not gay enough. Hollywood in general, and Disney in particular, have diversity quotas to fill, even if their diversity hires simply aren't qualified to do the job they're assigned to do. That's the reality of both DEI philosophy and practice right there, and the She-Hulk writers' room, headed by Jessica Gao, was the perfect example of just that. Instead of making a great She-Hulk series, which is what everyone wanted, this entitled no-talent hack decided that the series should be devoted to misandry, and that the actual Marvel fans and built-in audience, not as they are, but as Jessica Gao and the rest of her incompetent writer's room sees them through their narcissistic eyes, be made the literal villains of the series. This can never be stressed enough. The showrunners decided to make the actual target audience the villains of the show, and Kevin Feige signed off on it. That alone should cost him his job. On the bright side, though, that there is no season 2, suggests that he realized that where they went in season 1 might not have been the best of ideas. Too bad he didn't realize that before they completely and utterly ruined the character of She-Hulk. But will Kevin Feige have learned the right lessons from She-Hulk going forward, or will he find a way to greenlight new and equally big mistakes in the next batch of series or movies headed up by incompetents that have been promoted beyond their skill level? Also, would you even like to see She-Hulk or the Hulk's depressed emo son ever again? Let me know in the comments.